Good morning, St. Thomas More, and welcome to semester two. One important announcement from guidance today. The drop and add period for timetable changes will run from today until this Friday, February the 9th. The online booking system for guidance appointments is now open and can be accessed through your My Site. Please book with your grade level counselor and ensure you show up for your scheduled appointment or you may not get another one. Also, please attend all of the classes on your current schedule until a guidance counselor has made a change. Students will only be seen by appointment. If you are standing in line outside of guidance right now, please get to class and book an appointment. No changes to your semester schedule, semester two schedule will be made after this week. Have a great day, STM. Good morning, STM. My name's Alicia. And I'm Melania, and here are your announcements from Student Council. Hey, Mila, have you brought your prom ticket yet? No, I haven't. It was exam season, so I was pretty locked in. Well, you better buy it soon. Tickets are almost sold out. You heard her, STM. Buy your prom tickets before they're all gone. Next, we have an important message about the United Way. The United Way is a vital organization that directly helps people in need right here in the STM community. and to be a better and stronger community. You know, with Asher, he's, he's only three years old, but we didn't think that it was too early for him to start uh, realizing the impact of giving back to the community. A lot of people don't understand what United Way is all about, and part of what I like to do is, is be able to sway them to understand more about what it's all about. He gets the opportunity to experience camp like every other child. Without the assistance of United Way, I don't think we'd be able to do what we do with Evan. If the United Way wasn't there, the game change probably wouldn't happen. That was the, the help that I needed. We'd just be a mess without the United Way. Thanks to the kindness of the United Way and volunteers, I'm, I'm able to have a decent life. Together we are possible. To show our support of the United Way, students and staff are encouraged to wear a red or white shirt this Thursday, February 8th. Students and staff are also encouraged to donate to the United Way fundraiser using school cash online. A minimum $2 donation will earn you a ballot into our United Way raffle. A $10 donation will earn you five ballots and so forth. Many great prizes and gift cards will be raffled off to students and staff who donate on school cash online with an $100 Visa gift card as the grand prize. St. Thomas More, show that amazing school spirit through your generous online donations. Thanks, STM, and have a great day. Good morning, STM. My name is Maria. And my name is Fia. And here are your announcements for today. Attention graduates of 2024, this important announcement is for you, so please listen. Pegasus Studios will be taking graduation photos beginning this month, February, and in March and May. Information on how to sign up online has been posted on the Grade 12 LMS page, and all students, parents, guardians have received emails specifically outlining the sign-up process, such as the sitting fee, booking dates, etc. Lastly, please note that if you would like to have your photo appear in the yearbook and in the grad composite, you must take your photo with Pegasus Studios only. There will be an important ski trip meeting after school today in the lecture hall. On February 28th, there is an opportunity for students in grades 9, 10, and 11 to write the Waterloo Math Contest. You can register for the contest by paying for it on School Cash Online. The contest will be $6.50 and must be paid by February 9th. Please see Ms. Shirelli if you have any questions. This, is annou this announcement is for any students interested in attending the Brock University Drama Field Trip. If you took drama this year, semester one or two, and are interested in attending the trip, Please see Ms. Rido in room 102 to pick up a permission form. A reminder for Step Squad members that there will be practice that practice will resume tomorrow, Tuesday, on the stage from 3 to 4 p.m. This is an important announcement for all swim team athletes. Welcome back, Knights. Tomorrow, the swim team competes in their city championships at McMaster University. We wish all swim athletes the best of luck. All swimmers are, are to meet in the front foyer, foyer at 6 a.m. tomorrow to board the bus. Keep up the hard work nights. From coaches Tarquino, Thurston, Bayless, and Bertia. 
There will be a junior girls volleyball practice at 5 p.m. today after school. The girls return to action at 4 p.m. tomorrow in their home gym against St. Mary's. Go Knights! There is now a fee for all printing in the library. Black and white printing fee is 10 cents per side and color printing is 50 cents per side. Please be prepared before sending your print jobs. And now for your sports. This weekend, your junior boys basketball team competed in the prestigious Father Kennedy Tournament. The team opened up with a 25-point win over Assumption Brantford. In the semifinal, the team battled Bishop Reading and unfortunately lost a tough one in overtime 74-71. to and Isaiah Bernard was named first team all-star by the committee. A special thank you to Mr. Giovanangeli, Mr. D'Angelo, and Mr. Spir Spirinello for making this tournament a great yearly tradition. Thanks, Thanks. STM. Good morning, STM. This is a wrestling announcement. So wrestling, we're back at it today. Today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, all after school in the cafeteria. And then Friday, we have a tournament at Hillfield. Next Thursday, we are hosting the city championships here at STM. And then the week after is GHAC and then OPSA. So we're into the competition grind. So I expect all wrestlers at practice today after school. Um, and then another po note, while wrestlers were, most of our STM wrestlers were kind of on a break during exams, our very own Aiden Cook, who's in grade 10, he's our grade 10 stud, has been training and competing in club wrestling. And this past weekend, he won the U U17 Provincial Championships, um, which was so exciting. And his finals was the last 10 seconds he was losing, and he ended up winning the match 18-14. So if you see Aiden, congratulate him because he's been putting in the work, putting in the time, and he's going to be ready for OFSA this year. So look forward to seeing all of our STM wrestlers today after school in the cafeteria. Have a good day. This um, is all your announcement. The time now is 8.23. And remember, it's a great day to be a night.